it wasn't that serious how it is now and now the situation has taken a different toll and a lot of people including myself did not see this coming the communities around are now all in a state of fear and a state of hesitance what's going on in the world we all know of coronavirus how the coronavirus had spread we all know what happened with donovan mitchell yesterday with woody gobert how the nba got suspended colleges are being closed and everything is now just, you know, even the gym I go to, they're just, they, they, they put, they're calling up flag. They're saying, hey, you know, we're not going to do this anymore. And we're seeing this in the world. We're seeing this transpire now in mosques and churches and everything. It's like wildfire. And people are unsure. People are scared. People don't know what to do. Be watchful, man. But don't get over paranoid, you know. Take the precautions. Do this as required that are told to do. But do not let this ruin your mindset. Still think about a positive thing out of all this because there's, I, I do understand there's a lot of negativity being thrown at you. But the thing is, but we have to realize good or the bad, anything that befalls us is not except for the permission of Allah, but God. <laughs> And nothing's going to come in your way that's going to harm you, except if God wills that to happen to you. So yes, take the precautions, don't be stupid. But then again, do not also be so paranoid in that like you're just going crazy. So we need to live in that middle line. And uh, man, honestly, pray for humanity pray for your brothers and sisters we're in a tough time right now which this year has been very tough in a lot of things and i just pray the people that are diagnosed with this the people are battling through this the people that are isolated god gives them a cure especially the elders and the kids because you know obviously we know with their bodies the immune system is more weak and it's harder to fight off these things and the people that have other diseases may god protect them may god help us and help the doctors and help humanity figure out a cure not for only this disease but diseases that humanity has been affected by i mean and make dua man include us all in your prayers and with the muslim community we just need to be tight we need to be together we need to keep coming to the masjids obviously if the shayukh they say do not come to for jama we listen to what they say but keep trying doing your salah in your home then whatever they say and just keep praying for humanity, keep praying for not only your family, but my family, because we all one family, brother. So inshallah ta'ala, just remember that. And my, that's my little reminder to y'all. Let's let's be together in this. Let's let's if we can't really physically be together for each other, let's remember each other in our prayers and let's keep praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, man. Assalamu alaikum. Make dua for me as well. Make dua for everybody that's sick, man. Assalamu alaikum.